Welcome, my name is Daryl, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to accept payments online with the WooCommerce plugin for your WordPress website, and also how to take payments without it, so without a shopping cart, without WooCommerce. Okay, so let's go on over to this website right here. Uh, this is my dummy website for tutorial purposes, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my WordPress dashboard. So over here, I'm going to click on dashboard. Next, I'm going to go to my WooCommerce and click on settings. Now, there's some things that you need to make sure are checked or you're going to have some issues or customers will have issues when they go uh, try to check out. So let's go on over to shipping. And you need to make sure that shipping is enabled. And next, let's go on over to local delivery. And we need to make sure local delivery is checked as well. Click on save changes. And we also have an option for local pickup. Now, if you want customers, uh, if, you have, if you want them to be able to go pick it up at your store, you can check that. However, I don't want to check this box. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that unchecked. All right, so now let's go over back to our website and let's go ahead and buy something. So I'm going to go over to my shop right here and I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, these fruit yummies right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, view my cart. And I have this in my cart. However, I only want one. And update the cart. So now I have one in the cart. And next, let's go ahead and scroll down. And I'm going to go to click on proceed to checkout. All right. So now we have our billing information right here. We have our billing and we have shipping to a different address. So what this means is this is the person being billed. If you want it to ship to a different address, you would uh, put this information here. If you want it shipped to the same as your billing address, you're just going to go ahead and just close it. All right, so go ahead and put in your address, your information. All right, so we have all that information set. And now let's go on over to uh, PayPal. So now we're going to go ahead and go proceed to, proceed to PayPal. All right, so now we're at our screen right here, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to pay with my PayPal account. You can also pay with a credit card. Let me go ahead and show you guys really quick. Let's just say I want to go back. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pay this with my PayPal account. And uh, yeah. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, pay now because I've inserted a, a credit card onto my PayPal account. So technically I am paying with a credit card because the credit card is on my uh, PayPal account. So go ahead and click on pay now. All right, great. So now I've successfully bought those fruit. And this other company got a notification saying, hey, you know, somebody bought your item. Okay. So now we've successfully uh, bought an item. We've successfully took in payments online with the WooCommerce plugin. So next, let's go ahead and do this without it. So let's go ahead and take uh, payments online without the WooCommerce plugin. So this is my other website, uh, webdesign.com, and it's just a dummy website. It's just for tutorial purposes. And I'm going to go ahead and go to, uh, let's go to web design services. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Now, I want people to be able to buy this, but I don't really want a shopping cart. I do have a shopping cart here. However, it's not enabled. I don't have any of the settings. And I want them to be able to buy this because I'm only offering four products. And I don't think I really need a shopping cart, right? So I want them to be able to buy this without the shopping cart, without the, all that information. So if I click on buy now, I want them to be able to go to uh, PayPal and just buy it, just like this. Okay? So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this right now. So I'm going to go back over here. And to do this, we need to go back to PayPal. So let's go on over to PayPal right here. And we need to go, this is our dashboard. Once you're logging in your dashboard, you're going to go to Tools and go to Business Setup. And you're going to log in, checking your info. All right, we're working. All right, it's taking a little bit longer. I swear it only does this on my tutorials. Like when I'm not logged in, it's just like instant. Everything's instant. It's crazy. Okay, so we're logged in. Now we have option A and option B. We want to go ahead and select option B. We want to add in this button ourselves. So go ahead and click on option B and create payment buttons. All right, so 
right now you guys have seen this little icon right here don't worry I don't want this PayPal button on my website I like my website better I like these buy now I think these look better than the uh, PayPal button so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so right here under item name you're just gonna go ahead and put uh, web design or whatever your item is and your item ID if you have a store you want to put an item ID go ahead and I'm gonna put price for one dollar okay now there's these three options right here we're not going to check any of these we're just going to go ahead and click on customize text appearance and now we're going to go ahead and select our own image okay so right here i'm just going to enter webdesign.com and that's it enter, uh, was it www i don't know some websites are really really picky about that stuff okay so the next thing we need to do is make sure that people are redirected to the correct page. So over here under step three, we have these two options down here. We have take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout, or we have take customers to this URL when they finish their checkout. So what that means is let's say somebody over here buys this item right here. Where do you want them to go after you have a whole website to go? Where do you want them to go after? Maybe a thank you page on your website, right? But I'm just gonna go ahead and redirect them back to my home page. Uh, if you do have a, a, a like a, a thank you page, you can make them go there. Okay. So next, I'm gonna go on over to. Uh, all right, close that. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this box, and I'm gonna enter in my address right here. So I want them to go back to my website, and I'm gonna scroll down and click on create button. All right. So now we have this website and email. We want to go ahead and click on email. And we're just going to go ahead and insert this URL into our WordPress website. So I'm going to click on copy. And I'm going to go back to my website right here. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. So let's see right here uh, my pricing tables, my personal. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the URL. And let's say you have an image or let's say you have something else for your WordPress website. You can use the same URL uh, to insert that in. So uh, I hope you know how to do that. Uh, if, you, should be, you should be well experienced enough to know how to do that. Um, so go ahead and click on save. Or I'm going to click on save. This is my website. <laughs> Sorry. So you're used to using tutorials online. It's, it's crazy. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on view page. And now I want to go ahead and scroll down over here. And I'm going to go ahead and buy this now. So I'm going to click on buy now. And now I'm brought to my website right here, or PayPal right here. So you have the option to pay with your PayPal account, or you can go ahead and pay with a debit or credit card. I'm going to go ahead and pay with a debit or credit card. So you can click on credit card right here. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, enter my information, and uh, see you on the next page. Okay, great. So I made the payment with my credit card, and now I'm brought to this page right here. Now I want to go ahead and click on No Thanks, because I already have a PayPal account. So I'm going to click on No Thanks. This is only if you want to create a PayPal account. So I'm going to click on No Thanks. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Return to Daryl Wilson. All right, so remember I put the URL to go back to my home page? Well, that's where it's going to take me right now. So you, are, you will be redirected in 10 seconds, and voila. So now I'm back to my home page. So if you have a thank you page or something like that, make sure you enter in your URL there so it will take you to the correct page. And if you guys are interested in making your own free WordPress website or if you need help, you guys can check out my videos on YouTube. I have several videos on how you can make a free WordPress website and also uh, make your own free e-commerce website. I do have one where they charge, but trust me, if you're gonna start your own business, it's worth it to get a premium theme. So that's it, my name is Daryl Wilson. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'm signing out.